Hello. Oh. Oh my goodness, it's bright. I'm not complaining, I'd rather have this than the rain. Oh yes. This is the reason we don't do 4K. <laughs> so this is where we were yesterday. And we're moving today. Thank God. Noisiest mooring spot ever. Uh, but we are mooring today. Uh, a little clue. We are going to do three canals in one day. No, 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 no. Three canals in one hour. Oh, there you go. First things first, we've got to get down King's Lock. That one back there. Uh, we've got to get some fuel and some coal and stuff. But we've got to go down the lock backwards. So, so we guess, can get fuel. So guess who's driving? Not me. <laughs> This is the shortest canal in the UK, 154 feet long. So why does it exist? Well, the Trenton Mersey, which is on your right hand side, was already here when the new cut, the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union arrived here in 1829. The owners of the Trenton Mersey saw a little money making opportunity and they didn't want a direct junction with the Middlewich branch. They wanted to build this short canal which they charged a toll to use. So any boaters wanting to go from the Trent and Mersey to the Shropshire Union, the Middlewich, or vice versa, had to pay for the privilege to do so. So that was the Wardle Canal. All 154 feet, 47 meters, what do you reckon? We would have got up there quicker had it not been for a boat coming down the lock as we came around the corner. But this is where it brings us out. Wardle Lock, it's also known as Maureen's Lock. It's a bit of a story attached to this that I never knew about until today. A lady called Maureen Shaw used to live in that lock cottage just behind us. And her whole life revolved around boats and canals. She was born on a narrow boat. She was adopted by the Jinx boating family and spent all her working life on the narrow boats. And then she retired and spent her final years in the lock cottage just behind us. She was known as Auntie Maureen locally. She'd come out and help the boaters with the lock, give advice to people new to narrow boating, but she also looked after this lock. She was very protective and woe betide if you mistreated it. I'd like to have seen a reaction with Sean if he wasn't doing the paddles right. In 2012, when she died, working boat, narrow boat Tay, took Maureen from the cottage here, down onto the Trenton Mersey to a final resting place. One of Maureen's wishes was that we carry on talking about the working boats of the olden days. We tend to forget that the canals were built for business and industry, carrying cargo like coal and salt and sand and textiles around the country. It helped to build hundreds of communities and it helped to develop some of the massive engineering marvels that we appreciate today. It would have been fantastic to meet Maureen, Auntie Maureen, the boatwoman of Wardle Lock. And I'm really glad that I found out about her story.
In March 2018, a section of the canal right here just outside Middlewich at this point collapsed. Over 2,800 square metres of the embankment was just washed away down there into the River Wheelock. It drained the whole stretch of this bit of canal from that lock just behind us right down to the Trent and Mersey Junction just under a mile away and it left boats just stranded sitting on the bottom of the canal. It was about to become one of the Canal and River Trust's biggest engineering challenges, a project to reopen it. It closed an important link on the Cheshire Ring. The Middlewich branch links the Shropshire Union Canal with the Trent and Mersey a little bit further east. And all this began just before midnight on Thursday the 15th of March 2018. Nobody knows exactly what caused it, but most people believe that it was vandals that opened all the paddles on the upper and lower gates at Stanthorne Lock and then down at Warder Lock, a mile further down near the Trenton Mersey. Now somebody noticed the open paddles on the Wardle Lock and closed them, but nobody checked the paddles on the Stanthorne Lock further up, which was still open. And that meant all the water coming down from Stanthorne Lock had nowhere to drain. So that mile long pound started to fill up and eventually it overtopped the canal at its lowest point, right here next to the aqueduct. So the overflowing water started to wash away the towpath and before long 70 metres of the embankment had collapsed, leaving this massive crater. And according to the Institution of Civil Engineers, about four and a half million gallons of water washed away 2,800 cubic metres of the banking. It quickly drained this mile long pound between here and Waterlock. It left over a dozen boats stranded. And somebody must have been watching over this guy. He was fast asleep while this was going on and his boat was left at a right precarious angle, just a few feet away from where the embankment collapsed. The Canal and River Trust had to get a lorry in to lift the boat on by crane and take it away to refloat it somewhere safe. Just over nine months after the breach, on the 21st of December 2018, this stretch reopened. It's thanks to the hard work of the volunteers and the engineers and the Canal and River Trust for organising the work to such a high standard. It looks like part of the canal, it looks like it never happened. Apart from this new bit of concrete, you wouldn't know. And it's a beautiful place to mow, especially if you've got solar panels. train and then a faster train. Enjoyed the trains. It's getting on Sean's nerves now. Shall I buy him a t shirt for Christmas? No. <laughs> uh, so we've been cruising for a couple of hours. It is beautiful, clear blue skies, and it's been lovely. There's a bit of ice first thing this morning. Uh, lots of lovely 48 hour moorings, so we're gonna try and find somewhere nice to stop. Nice moorings. They are, aren't they? Shall we stay here? Come if you want.
you remember Tales of the Unexpected? Yes. Where that Roald Dahl thing. Yeah, do, 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 do. <laughs> That's the world of Foxes Afloat filming. Whenever we get a camera out, we can be in the middle of nowhere. People just emerge from boats and trees and yeah. holes in the ground. You can be stuck, you can be moored somewhere where you don't see or hear a soul for two or three days, but as soon as you put that camera on, people start shouting from nowhere. It's just yeah. weird. Do you know what's done it? What? A fancy tripod. Yeah, a fancy new tripod, which you can't see, but you can probably tell in the picture quality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are about a mile away from Wimbledsley. That sounds like something you say when you're drunk, doesn't it? Wimbledsley. Where you come from? Wimbledon. Is that where they play tennis? It's a lovely... Yeah, it's a lovely mooring. I'm glad you found it funny. There's a, it is a lovely mooring and we, we kind of stumbled on it by mistake yes. a couple of days ago. Yeah, a couple of days ago. Uh, on that side is just like farmland and uh, the railway, which you probably just heard, and a farm truck that just seems to reverse all day all long. All day. For some reason he never goes forward, he just reverses all day long. Beep, 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 beep. Crazy. Beep. On that side is Winsford Top Flash. Have a look. Flash. There you go. I don't know why they call them flashes. I I'd, like to, I'd like to think it's what I'm thinking it is in my head, but I don't think it is. Uh, another one caused by uh, subsidence from uh, Brian Pumpin. Yeah. That sounds rude as well. Uh, <laughs> so we've got to get from here. We're going towards Nantwich uh, in a couple of days, but the weather over the next couple of days is a little bit mm. A bit, a bit way. They say it's going to rain and then it's done, and then they say it's going to be fine and then it rains. So we're kind of taking those chances and going a couple of hours at a time yeah. in between breaks. So today we're going from here, near Wimbledon, uh, <laughs> to uh, Church Minshull or Minsel or Minshull. There you go, whichever pronunciation it is, I've just covered it. <laughs> uh, yes, we did just cut something out. <laughs> uh, so, are we ready? Yeah. Come on, get a coffee. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Church Minshall, Mince Hill, Mince Hall, Minch. No idea. Uh, we're near Bridge 12, which is Erdswick Bridge, Earswick Bridge, Earwick Bridge. I have no <laughs> idea. I have no idea. Right. And to, to, be, to be honest, I give up. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter how you pronounce it, Five other people will, will Tell leave you a message you're wrong. and say that you're wrong. So <laughs> let's call it Earwig Bridge in Church Mincy. I don't know. <laughs> but we're here and it's <laughs> but we're here and it's beautiful. You're all right, Maud. 
Cough it up. I'm still dying here. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Sean's had man flu <coughs> for what seems like the last six months. Yeah. <laughs> Bless him. Uh, and Dylan's got it as well. When yeah. we're playing with Dylan, we tickle. <coughs> when we on a morning, he, he's kind of all playful and he, he likes his belly rubbing. Uh, and when we rub his belly, he's, he's coughing on the morning. And he's like, "Hey!" <coughs> uh, so here we are at Church Wincy, and Wincy. Uh, it's it's lovely. We escaped the showers. We got a little bit of like drizzly, but we're all right. Uh, and it's a lovely morning. It is beautiful. And we had the whole stretch of moorings to yep. ourselves. So we mowed down there. Somebody mowed up behind us and put the generator on. Why? Why? We have nothing against generators because. It's winter, yeah, and you need power. And if you haven't got good batteries or you haven't got solar, you need a generator. That's fine, fair enough. But when you've got a mooring that's got space for like 20 boats and you moor right on the end of it and then they moor right behind you and switch the generator on, the loud generator, I don't think that's polite. And I don't think I'm being out of order by saying that that's not polite. Because if I had a really loud generator and I wanted to moor here, I'd at least moor away from the other boats. Tell me if you're wrong, I don't give a, a wincy <laughs> if, if you're wrong to be honest. That's the way I feel about it. I believe in politeness and being nice. Yeah. If we were going to leave our engine on to charge our batteries up then we'd park with more away from the other boats. But there you go, that's my rant. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so Church Wincy today, uh, we're not very far from uh, Venetian Marina. Uh, which is where we go in on our next journey down towards Nantwich. But for today, and for this vlog, that is it and the sun's coming out. Lovely. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, we hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you have, uh, please show your appreciation by giving us some thumbs ups. Yeah. <laughs> Nudge me. <laughs> Uh, like the little graphic down below says, subscribe. If you click subscribe and then hit the bell, YouTube will let you know every time we release a brand new video. It's getting brighter. Brighter, <laughs> the sun's coming out. Uh, leave any comments except on pronunciations or generators or my rant down below. Yeah. Or questions or just chats. We do still like to answer them all. Yeah. It does take me all weekend, but I do like to. And anything else? Uh, I'm going to put the dinner on. Yeah, we're having chicken something. Chicken something. I haven't decided yet, but there's some chicken in there. So till next week, thanks for watching. Take care, see you later. Bye. Ta -da. No, you can't say that. <laughs> when the new cuts, the shops, yeah, yeah, she put me off. There you go. Now she put me off. Oh God, why can't I think of this? Aeroplane and something else that I've forgotten. Horse boat, boaters. Ah, it was going so well. Yay, that one were all right. When you're trying to film and some people uh, stood literally six feet away, just standing, staring, talking to each other. Oh, who's he filming for? I wonder if it's gonna be on Northwest tonight. Just go. In the man in the boat will be out to shout in a minute. Back in a minute. <laughs> Weird. Weird. Good morning. Good morning. Ten miles okay. of canal. And he just comes and stands right next to me. Welcome to the world of vlogging. And I've forgotten what happens next. <sighs> Take three. Who, I don't know how. I do know how. And I can't remember what happened next. It's not complicated, is it, Colin? I've forgotten again. <laughs> ramble, ramble. And one more for good luck. That were all right, wasn't it? Yes. That will do. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>